Welcome back to the Phoenix Podcast. I'm Brandon McDevitt. I'm Tiffany Piper, and I'm Sandy Gatch. Today we're going to be talking about if we should be con- trying to contact aliens or not. Okay, yeah. so the tally is I'm pro contacting aliens, and Tiffany and Savannah are against it. <sighs> so sad. It is so sad. Okay, so let me hear your explanation on why we shouldn't contact oh. aliens or try. If there, I believe that there are aliens out there, right? And if, mm-hmm. and I feel like aliens have this awareness of what's happening around them. I think they see from afar like what's happening to our Earth and like, um, what like they don't want to talk to us for a reason. So I think reaching out to them is just going to be a, a like it's going to create a conflict. And I think that like, we have so many problems of our own, trying to talk to someone else is gonna be like, it, it's gonna be difficult. And also like, we're interested in them and we're gonna wanna know a lot of things. And I think they already know stuff about us. So they're just kinda like, why would I tell you about me when I already know everything I need to know about you? Cause it cuts out that exchange of like, information. And I think that they would just think we're like butting in and they see how corrupt we are. So why would they want us, you know, on their side or, you know. Okay. Like, I think, yeah. Yeah. But again, I think any form of government is going to be corrupt in what, some way. So they're probably going to be corrupt in some way. Um, okay. Aliens, though. I don't know what they are. What, what about the point that in any situation with a higher advanced civilization, there's always conflict with a lower civilization? Yeah, so back to old, kinda, back to old Rome. That kind of goes back to kind of why I don't think like if they're higher or lower, we're gonna look like we've seen in our history on Earth. If there's a higher advantage, they're gonna take over the lower advantage mm-hmm. group. It's it it happens today. It's been happening for the past thousand years. Thousand two thousand years at least. I think, would, here, here. I think it would be cool, but it's just not. Um, it's it shouldn't be a priority right now for where we're at today, and with all the other things that we have going on, we don't really need to handle more like foreign affairs. I think we need to, you know, focus on our own well-being for a while before, <laughs> we, try to, before we try to meet anybody or um, like I don't know, like. Like talk to aliens, like that's such a that's a really big deal and a big thing. I right. think we need to prepare for that first before just like mm-hmm. should we talk to aliens? Should we not? Like we just we have our own problems before we need to get into alien problems. So here's my thought. You, you gotta remember because yeah. it takes like the nearest planet is a light year, like is like four point three light years. You know what I mean? A lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So we can send a message out. And w- assuming that there is alien life on that solar system, and they hear it, we're probably going to be already going to it. Wait, we've got the 1900 message from the, the Apollo program. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Trying to send some information out. We, we're probably going to get there. You know what I mean? Because learning is exponential, like, like technology. So we're already working on, you know, Sp- normal space flight, SpaceX, your boys. You know what I mean? Instead of it being government ran, it's privately ran. So we're going to be going cray cray. And the, the next closest uh, solar system, I think it's eight, eight layers away. So you know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're knocking on this door right away and go, like, yo, yo, you guys in here? You know what I mean? And plus, that's assuming that there are aliens. And if there are aliens, then they're probably going to be like, all right, we're just not going to say anything back because they're really underdeveloped. But, I don't even know why they would try to take us over because yeah. we're, we're just, you know, we're just. We just don't know what other people are capable of. And we don't even understand, we don't even know what other people are capable of that are on our Earth. So think of people that are on different different planets, we don't know what they're capable of, we don't know how developed or underdeveloped they are, what if they're the higher power and we have, we're blindsided by it. And even if you have a private company trying to access these things and like trying to reach out to people, 
I think that they're going to run into a lot more conflict because what happens if they don't receive the message that you meant for them to receive? Like, what if they take things the wrong way and there's that miscommunication and then they come to Earth and just start attacking us? Or, like, they take down, like, the, you know, like, what if we some the space thing? Like, our satellites start, you know, knocking me out. Like, what, what, why'd that happen? Like, we don't know what happened. So, I just think that it's, and especially a private company doesn't have their own army. So, okay. the U.S. becomes responsible for SpaceX, and then we, then the United States has to deal with the repercussions of that. And I think Space Force would get a lot of backlash, too, if something were to go wrong. And there, in my mind, there's so many things that could go wrong right now. Not just on our planet, like you know, intergalactically. So it's just we should stick to fixing ourselves before we try and like reach out to anyone or explore further than we have already. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we're gonna get? Uh, who do you think's gonna be first? We're gonna find aliens, or the aliens will find us? I think they've already found us. I think they don't. Like, I, I mean it sincerely, like, right? not just like, why would they want to talk to us, you know, like, we're so screwed up, like, you know, yeah. but like, sincerely, like, why would they want, I think they, they have the mutual understanding of we don't know what each other are capable of, so if you can, they already found us, they've probably seen more promise from World War I and World War II with all these explosions. With the nuclear Talking. bomb, you know, it's kind of hard not to see it, but, um, yeah. I think I definitely think that like I, that something is out there and that something has been made aware that either we are here or that they know exactly like what we're up to and what we're doing and that it's like why would we make ourselves known to you when we have the power of like this underlying um, value. So why wouldn't they want to invade us and just take our stuff? Because they don't know what we're capable of, you know. I'm pretty sure they've sure seen the nuclear bombs, and we're not afraid to blow our own planet up. And we actually have the power to do it three times over. Yeah. Who knows how many more have been developed? You know, this was, that's you know that's old statistics. So, yeah. Imagine now we've just been pumping out tanks, and they were pumping out nuclear bombs too. <laughs> Who knows? What would be the first thing you say to the aliens? Hi. <laughs> I well, it was a, that's like a curse word in their language. Yeah, that that's also my thought. It's like, what if Uh-oh. I kind of contact them? We end up saying something that is very, very vulgar in their time, so they're all of a sudden wanting to start some sort of war that we yeah. we don't know what's going on just because just because of miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Like when you're when you're talking, it's like the thinking back when um. Any European country came and visited over at the New World with all these natives. Like mm. they're lucky in some ways. They they couldn't speak to them. One, one, the other side didn't understand them. And who knows what words are are common between two of them, but just mm. using different things. Um, also thinking back of being in problem twenty is like. Words are relative, it's symbolistic, and it can mean so many different things and still be the same word. Mm. Do you think we should be, wait, what what should we do if we find aliens? Like, if we go to Mars, you're like, wait a minute, they're all on the ground. I'm, I'm going to be hiding in some cave in the mountain and not wanting to be a part of it. Okay. <laughs> I think then what would you do? If we happen to stumble across them, then we should try and work on that relationship. Like, if they're underground on Mars, then, like, we need to um, make means to make amends, like, to become, like, an allied force. And it's like, we think that we would have to come across in a way, like, we're not trying to your plan or anything we just wanted to explore mm. like it's but it's like there's so many there's a language barrier there's you know um, just a lack of understanding about how the other has lived and how the other has 
Do you think there is intelligent at it more or less or the same as intelligent level? Because like if we go there, they could just be like rabid dogs, which like attack us for no reason. Because they can all depend on how you consider intelligent. Like I, I find so many animals on our planet itself, other than humans, to be very intelligent. It's just no, like like, like yeah. self aware of itself. Okay. Like not a dog. Like dogs are smart and all, but they can't develop a rocket. You know what I mean? The like the way that I've always thought of it is like there's another species out there. There's, there's this alien, right? And they they don't have a lot of problems. Or if they have problems, they're all in it together and they solve that problem. And they like it's not it's not like our world. Like it's they don't destroy things and they kind of like leave things in their natural way. Like it's very like okay. um, egotistical. Like they really pay attention to like, hey, this is a planet that we're living on and like we have to take care of it and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, or or just, or, just like, just like a lot more like self aware than okay. we are. Understandable. Now, how do you bring out religion in that? Because that's going to be confusing to them. But they're like, we're here first. No, we were. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Do you think we're the aliens, maybe? I don't think anyone should care on who's the first. We should care about what's going on now and what's going to happen in the future. Because if we keep focusing on the past, no one's going to move on, and there's nothing going. There's nothing good that's going to come out of it. I don't know. America's pretty bad at past, pretty bad at that. We should learn from our past and look back on it to not make the same mistakes. But we don't need to be focusing on our past, on the past. Yeah, you know, we can like we can like t- continuously like bringing up um, just like you know like like uh, world wars and stuff like that. Who started this? Who started that? You know, like yeah. it's it's like it's if we if we kind of just like. Like we look back and like think about like when we when people first came to America and we met Native Americans and you know like there we need to learn from that and learn how to get along and how to understand this new um, completely different life like lifestyle. I think we have to we have to be to that. But I think there's a lot that we can learn from aliens uh, if we if we ever do meet them. But I don't think that we should. On purpose, we'd be reaching out to them and trying to talk to them because I think it's going to put us in a situation of just, uh, I think it's going to be really hectic because mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lack of understanding on our part. And I, I feel like they just, they already know, like they already know that we're here and know a lot about it. There's not much more that they can learn about us. How about that Earth guy? Jeez. Gosh. Look at them Earth planes. Yeah. 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 This episode is getting crazy. This season's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, for the season finale. <laughs> I would say reality TV show of America. Uh, that would that be could easy. definitely be that. I gotta say, I definitely watch that reality show. Like, like there's, there's always world, something going on. A world oh. reality show. Probably well, just Earth in general. Someone makes it. That'd be long. Way too long. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Like, what if, what if somebody made like a short, um. Like instead of like a history thing, it's more kind of like t- what twenty twenty and like the rea- It's like as if it's as if it's a reality like TV show. Like somebody should make that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pretty much Americans, what they feel like <laughs> Americans standing here, cough, 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 cough. Yeah. Ah, oh no! <laughs> and then also uh, like, uh, the country sitting on the show, he's looking at them like. Have yeah. you figured this out yet? We, we thought you were. You guys have figured it out. You're the superpower. Exactly. Like. <laughs> exactly. Do you think, okay, who should be in con- I don't know. Hold on. Who should be in control of the aliens? Nobody. Nobody. Whoa. I hate that you even asked that question. And that's why we shouldn't be reaching out to them. Who should be in control of the aliens? The aliens can only control themselves. Like, you know, it's not. We can't, we can't seek them out to gain control of it, to... No, 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 like, if they start going, like, a little haywire, then they're like, hey, you know, 
if we and need start like coming at us, right? Like, back down, back off. Well, you know what I mean, like, who's gonna who's gonna do that? It is not our place to say you can't do that. You know, like this is a, and it's not their place to say that we can't do something. This is our solar system, right? Yeah, we could just, it's not like, our solar system, and we just happen to be in it. We're not the center of the universe, Brandon. It's, God. No, 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 don't tell me that. <laughs> I know you're talking about. I think of it. We we should stick to if we're gonna control something, we should control our own Earth. Because we've already been doing that for the past few years, we need to figure out. We need before we decide to. Yeah, but like we, we kind of did that already. Fix our problems on Earth before trying to fix someone else's problems. Yeah, well, we kind of yeah, conquered we, the we, Earth we already. Ask, we discovered we it. Give advice, like no, no I think even giving advice, is, we're gonna get shot in the head. It's just like we, it's their, it's their way of living, and they know how that they, they know how they want to do it. And I don't think they want to hear from some. Uh, earth person about how to do it. I don't think that we're going to be treated like the most intelligent being on the planet. Oh, yeah, it's going to be very like you're dumb, we're superior like, because they just they have like this self awareness and they're like stupid Americans, stupid worldly beings. Like you guys are ruining your planet right in front of your own eyes and you don't realize it. You know? Yeah. It's be, that's how I think it. Do you think? Do you even think they have guns? If they're very planet plus, they, have, they own, have guns. They have their own weapons, and that works for them. But that's against uh, the planet. No, it's to protect. The them. mouse would invent the uh, the mouse would never invent the mouse trap, right? So why would they invent guns? I I don't think they make guns, but I'm saying like they they definitely do have a weapon because. <sighs> How else are you going to protect the planet? How else are you going to protect yourself? What is there to protect from? Well, I know there's no rapid dogs. We don't know what's out there. Why do you think we have all these... There's things? nothing out there. We've we been on Mars. Oh my God, I was talking about Mars. All right, let's talk about a different planet. Okay, yeah. Some spears. In, ju- in general, there's, 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 there's yeah. literally like a... I think it's like a, a one... Even if it's like a one in a million chance... A one in a billion chance that there is life form on a planet. Think of how many planets there are, how many other galaxies, and how many like, you know. Yeah. Pretty big. There's a lot that we don't know about, and it's ever expanding. So you yeah. say one every billion, and there's like, you know, <laughs> there's like seven billion planets or something. You know, like think about how many other life forms could possibly be out there. And I know that you said previously, like now, you don't think that you think that there was aliens. Previously, or that there's going to be in the future. Do you think that we're the aliens right now? It's that's a valid point, but it's the way that I see it is like it's a, if it's even if it's a one in a billion chance, there there's more than a billion. You know, there's more than a billion, chance. and it's ever expanding. And and you think, think we're all again? So I think that there is there has to be another life form out there. It might be like a thousand light years away, but yeah. Do you think we're gonna become like Star Wars and like there's a life form of every planet? Or we could just travel to it easily. You don't think so in the in far like far future? I'm talking about like ten thousands. I wouldn't say every planet, but could, there could if there is aliens and if there is other life forms. Not saying there isn't, but with that chance there is. The possibility that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. Right. My mindset on aliens. There's a possibility, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. I'm not gonna sit there and make it stop yeah. and we don't know anything about it. I don't think that there's gonna be a completely different species, a completely different alien on each planet. But I definitely you think there's not us. Space travel becomes more popular and like staying on the moon, like staying on Mars becomes a reality and there's like hotels and like houses and stuff like that when that becomes the reality and we start traveling to other planets and we start developing these faster speeds and we can get places faster and stuff like that like i think that then we'll have what darwinism happen so like say there's you know like low oxygen levels but you can still be like you'll eventually have to get used to that level of oxygen and then like Oh, maybe you know, bigger feet work for this planet better, so that you can jump farther and higher and like that. Like, I think that's 
what that also can makes slowly it very develop. interesting is um, from Julia watched the idea of a, ba a baby forming while on traveling to Mars. So it's, it's in a different, your heart's not going to have to be as big, your heart's not going to have to work as hard in certain areas, maybe. So therefore, if you go back to Earth, you can't survive there because gravity's too heavy for you. Like that idea, I think mm -hmm. like, slow changes like that are possible. Yeah, I think the biggest change is because um, I don't think we're going to change the oxygen levels yet. Because if, we're, if we're going to change the planet, we're going to change the whole thing, make sure it's like Earth. But I think what really is going to have the biggest effect is the muscles. Because we won't, it's like, oh, I don't know the, the ratio, but we're way later on um, Mars. If we stay there, if I come back, we're going to be weaker. Um, I think it's on Mars. If you weigh 140 pounds, you have zero pounds on Zero. Light is a fucking feather. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, That's rad. But what I think about today is like, do you see people on the space station? What if the baby was born on the space station? It was, it grew up, it was, it was born into zero gravity. Mm -hmm. Or there's gonna be some organ changes. That'd be cool. Some heart I didn't say that. That'd be really <laughs> dope. I would love to see that. Yeah. One, nasty, it but. seems inhumane, though, to some people. Like, this is this. Are you turning this child yeah. into a science experiment? Like, no. What the most likely what just happened happens, happens to get pregnant, and I just didn't know it, and then we go on. She's like, holy shit, I'm throwing up a lot. Maybe she's going to space. Oh, no, I'm pregnant. Like that, that seems like, that would be kind of fun. Like, okay, it's, it's about that to be a cool funny. reality. I don't, I don't think that's how that works, but okay. I think they do testing and stuff like that. So they would yeah. Be, like when your blood work is done, like they would know. But that would be, I would, I'd keep, I'd keep tabs on that. That would be pretty. That would be, so, be, be quite a but, problem to, to There would be do. a bunch of problems and then that whatever company sent them up to there would be a lot of <laughs> But like, think yeah. about it, now that you got a kid in space, it's already bad enough on Earth. Station would be in a lot of trouble at that moment. But at the same time, it would be very interesting thing to look at for uh, looking at. I think we should start like experimenting with that, like, but with like sheep, you know, like something similar. Yeah, but we do it with rats. Yeah, like. Been a lot of things with rats. Those things are easy to use. We could try with a dog. Who are reproducing? With dogs. I don't know if you saw Space Force, uh, to me, but I know. Brandon, did you finish that yet? No, I, I, it's, it's not that good to the point where I have to keep on watching. If yeah. I, I'm not really big on TV I shows, sure. so if I can't keep it, you know what I mean? If I don't want to watch the next one, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so, Braveheart right there. yeah, so, okay, so it's space force, they sent, like, a dog and a monkey up in the Yeah, 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 I watched it, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, and it, that was just, like, it was very interesting to see their predicaments on what would happen if they were set up, and they, like, knew their cages and stuff like that, and they were mm -hmm. pretty well trained. Okay, yeah, but it's just really cool to, like, I don't know, see their predicaments on, like, what would actually happen, like, monkey ends up eating a dog, like, that's a little... It was, that was so bad, and you saw a tail. I was really oh. I was like, I thought it would be the opposite way around, the dog! Like, <laughs> oh, it was so bad. It was a cute oh. dog, too. It was a cute dog. But oh, my gosh. I see how a monkey could be helpful, because, like, once a monkey like gets trained enough, like they're pretty similar to us, and they do have bumps, and they like try to get him to like, like fix the ship and stuff, which was actually like, really cool to see and like see that played out. But I was just like, I, it's you'd have to it's train highly impractical so many years to like get it to comprehend and understand like what's gonna happen. I don't think it could ever do that. Really, I think it, I no. Think it could be, yeah. The monkey we're talking about. 
Yeah. They threw poop at each other. That one thing, like every day you trained it to do that, like in a simulation, I think that it could do it. But it'd be really difficult and hard, and you really you need a really good animal. Spectrum. I think it's a waste of time for also need to, to train a monkey. You also need to have a lot of patience with that animal and yeah. in general. Because, like, even with training your dog and to do all these tricks and stuff, one, you need to be out in every day, and you need to have patience with it. The animal can't. Yeah, I think it better off with a kid. I mean, just go kid and there you go, boom, that now knows how to comprehend things and can speak to you. You know what I mean? But like zero gravity kid, he couldn't come back to Earth. No, he doesn't. He's so weak. No, he could actually if he trained his muscles on the station. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, but astronauts have to like do pull ups and like push ups and they have like yeah, yeah, treadmills. Try to do because but also you've got a baby here. You can't just make the baby do pull up. Like you can't make a baby. No, not the baby. Like as it grows up, like it's a kid. Yeah. You know I mean, but also, I'm not gonna just like instantly take it down. I think about like their inter like their internal organs are gonna be it. The organs themselves were developed in that in zero gravity. It's not like they it. The organs we developed with gravity. There was no gravity there. The heart yeah. didn't have all that pressure on it as it developed. So going back down there, you probably have to do a heart transplant at least. Well, it would take. You'd have to like. You'd have to. I, I, you'd have to have like a simulation, like to slowly like ease it back into it because you can't just mm -hmm. like throw yourself. Like even okay, even like. Say you like you're running, right? You can't just stop running and call it a day. Like you can't like your your heart rate is too high, and if you just stop and like you it, like you sit down, first of all you're gonna get sick. Second off, like it's terrible for your heart because it has to it has to, like it has to, to like ease your heart. Down. Rate, you know, so yeah, yeah. I think, but for one, I think you're kind of confusing pressure with gravity. Because gravity, we're, the, the space station is just in microgravity, where it's like, you know, the elevator is falling down. You're not in zero gravity. You're just falling oh, yeah, yeah. at a constant speed. So it's the same pressure, you know what I mean? But one's just falling. You know what I mean? But if, we, if, it, if it developed in, like, zero pressure, there's not a chance it's going to be able to come down here. Because yeah. we got to, that would, oh, that would be so weird. Ew. Is your pressure baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just imagine a zero pressure baby. Like even if it isn't zero gravity and stuff, like there's a big difference in the gravity on up there. So it's gravity. Gravity. Yeah. 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 Once like yeah. atmosphere, man. Yeah. Out. Uh, yeah, actually it's still in Earth's influence for a long time. And then you actually get into the moon's influence. So you're, it's a long time, but to get out. <laughs> and then you into the sun's influence. There's no such thing as real true gravity. No oh, such thing. You're always in someone else's influence. Always. Oh, like in life. Life is but an orbit. Sometimes you get your ups and downs. <laughs> How about Pluto being weird? Going around vertical and stuff. What's up with him? Right? Isn't he messed up? Like everyone else, we're all gonna go this way. But instead, we're gonna go we're gonna go this way instead. Like what why don't you just follow the rules, kid? I don't know. He, he was like, if I'm not even gonna be counted as a player, might as well not act like that. Yeah, player. you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, I'm gonna go this Hot way. <laughs> What a rebel. Quite rebellious. Oh, you know, Russia has more land than Pluto. As, as a planet, and I'm going to just call this dwarf planet. I might as well not act like one. Yeah, it's true. Do you know that Russia has more land than Pluto? Oh, my God. Is that right or what? <laughs> Russia has more land than Pluto. It's like, okay, <laughs> that doesn't look like a planet. I mean, if, you get, if Russia's got more land, you know, you're not really a planet. 
Jeez. You could probably like so throw that thing. Not, but Pluto believes he's a planet. Are, are we, should we start using Russia as a measurement now? How many Russians can fit in it? <laughs> All right, boys, we hit the 30 minute mark. If you want any, want a final? Oh, I'm brain dead. Hey, you can find <sighs> our a podcast on Spotify now, and you can download the Anchor app and find it there too. Also, um, Pocket Radio podcast. Yeah, I don't have it all with me, but we we have history found the app Anchor, and we are distributing our podcast to a bunch of Spotify. Stuff. And we're trying to work on getting it to Pandora also. So we're expanding at the universe. Yeah. Plus, we also now have an Instagram. Yeah. That'll be in the description and the bio of the channel. Make sure you follow that. All right. And to the end, congrats. Thank you for you just found out how oh, well. one, you just found out that we're distributed. Like no one anyone else yeah. doesn't reach to this. Oh, no. Wait, won't know. Yeah. Exactly. And by the time you're watching this, we're going to already be in the Hall of Fame of podcasts. So that's going to be rad. <laughs> All right. Made it to the end. Congratulations. Like, comment, share. We'll see you in the next one. It's the Phoenix Podcast. Bye. Bye.